Hi, welcome back. We're Brian and Marisha. We're currently overlanding the Baja Peninsula for two months with some friends and our dog Klaus. From Punta San Basilio, we head back across the peninsula towards San Juanico and Scorpion Bay. So we thought we were driving on Highway 1. Uh, from <laughs> we are driving. Well, I did air quotes on Highway. Like most of Highway 1 in Baja is paved. It's paved road. It's like the main highway. So the other thing is Highway 1 has all these branches. It looks like completely different highways, but they call it all Highway 1. And we hit a branch off where we have to cross over the mountains and get all the way from the east coast to the west coast. And we took a branch off to Highway 1, so we spent all this time airing up the tires again. What does that take, like 25 minutes? At least, yeah, probably 25 minutes. 25 minutes. It's 100 degrees now. Yeah, it's 104 degrees out right now. And Brian airs up all the tires. We drove three miles, <laughs> took our turn, and here's Highway 1. So, that was a little deflation, so we had to pull over, air down the tires. Do gas calculations. Yeah. We want to be able to go out and back and not run out of gas, but we'll see how that goes because we're... I guess there's some dudes who just sell it out of their garage. So worst case scenario, we'll just buy some gas from some random guy on the side of the road. Yeah. Getting, oh boy. This is getting gnarly. Yeah. But anyway, um, this is not the road we thought we would be taking, but here we are. 70 miles of this to get to a surf spot. This is gonna be a all day adventure to get there. Yeah, and the reason we're concerned about gas too is we're going to an area where there are no, really no more gas stations. So even once you get to the town we're going to, it's so small that there's no gas stations and there's really no gas stations anywhere close. We, we do have five extra gallons on top. Very yeah. Yes, yeah, we always carry extra five gallons on top for situations like this. So, yeah, keep it posted. then we cross over highway one the real highway one and then we assuming get back on another dirt road that heads out to the to the coast driving along you always run into these random oasis areas Yeah, we do. Ooh, tight switchbacks. Yeah. 91. Getting cooler. All right, lunch spot. All right, we stop at a crazy lunch spot on a cliff. Well, this is Main Street of our little unknown town. Here's the mission. Yep. All towns have Main Street. Main Street encompasses an island in the middle. And a store that sells Tecate but no gas. Yep. Oh, Forerunner's still living. There it is. <laughs> Questionable though. Toyotas I'm never not. die. Chewie wants to be a Toyota when he grows up. True that. So we found out this town's called San Isidro. Isidro. Mm -hmm back on paved roads. Yeah, no paved roads. No gas yet though. Hmm. It kind of looks like it. it was this is like very Morocco-y yeah, right here. Like, should we let Noodle swim? That looks like a cool one. Yeah, let's go check it out. Oh, Chewie's paw is finally getting oh, in the middle. Oh, shh. For sure. Paws are hurting from that little road extravaganza we did. Alright. Stop to take Klausi for a little swim. An oasis. And he likes to swim. 
Hey, Bob. Hmm. Oh, concrete is wrong. Natural bridge. It is really clear. You can see the fishes. Oh, there's a snake in there. Oh my god, not getting in. <laughs> yeah, clear as day. All right, we found a place that sells diesel on the side of the road in Las Barrancas. So we had to take a little detour, which ended up working out better because the road we were getting on was, it, it sounded really hard. Um, I Overlander had a big explanation point and they were saying that if you, if you had a Jeep, you could probably do it, but um, nothing bigger than that. So we bought, we're buying our gas from this place and putting it in this way. That's how we roll around here. What are we doing again? Oh. At least it's not what? Not 104 degrees. That's true. It's 76 like, yeah. instead of 104. Freaking glorious so over here. up. It's not that much of a... Kicking the cojones. And we stopped right in front of a shrine. My favorites. Roadside shrines. This one has candles burning. There we go. This is uh, San Juanico, uh, Scorpion Bay is where we're they keep getting better headed, and better. trying to find. And we're on the beach road and there's some sweet ass houses up in here. Oh my God, let's go in that door. <laughs> let's get in there, Marge. You can get your foot in there. Uh, there's Sprinter, beep beep. Nah, it's Ford. Ford. Oh, that's Ford. one of the new ones, four wheel drivers. Yeah. First four wheel drive they made, I think, yeah. based on that. I think it is. A sell us up! Alright, he drove forever yesterday to get Scorpion Bay. I think I showed this this morning that we arrived at the, <laughs> what's supposed to be the longest surf break ever and we have no swell these next um, next swells aren't supposed to come in until Wednesday maybe Thursday and today's Monday I kind of don't have enough time so we came all this way Scorpion Bay <laughs> And it's warm. Like all the other West Coast stuff that we've stopped at has been freezing and cloudy. So, not freezing, but freezing for down here. And it's nice. It's warm. Like you'd still need a wetsuit. The water's cold, but the air's, air's at least warm, which is nice. Um, yeah, these. I mean, you can see, you can see the potential. Because when even the baby, baby, like little breaks come in, it, it runs the whole bay. And if they were actually bigger, you can see the potential of what what it can have. Supposedly in 2017, some guy rode a wave that started two miles up at, like these are all, all these points are numbered, like one through six or seven or eight. And he started at the furthest point, I guess at the lighthouse and rode a single wave two miles, <laughs> two miles in and stepped off onto the beach. Not today. Keep <laughs> the wa the waves lack thereof, kind of what they're known for, and how you can kind of see the potential of. They're breaking a little bit. Yeah, I mean they're little baby ones, but you can at least see the line of like if they were bigger, what it would do. For sure. And that we're probably gonna be headed north from here. I mean, we're working towards the end of our trip anyway, and we're, we are gonna cross over a little bit early than we thought. Original trip, because we skipped a lot of surf spots that um, once we started surfing in the real world, we knew we wouldn't be able to do. So we skipped a few of them. A lot of them, actually. But, yeah, still cool. 
That's that. And then you have Klaus here. Just chilling. And then from here, we're headed to San Ignacio, which we went on the way out. Probably either spend the night there or somewhere on this trail because we probably won't make it through today. Probably not, right? I doubt it severely. Yeah, we'll be camping in the, the boonies tonight. So, yeah, we'll pick you up on the road. I'm sure we'll have some cool stuff to film on the way. Um, the journey is cooler than the destination on this trip. Like the drives have been sometimes cooler than where we're headed. So, see you on the road. All right, San Juanico, we came and went. Look at Surfing Pelican, nice. Cool cemetery down there. We're gonna go to a little quickie mart. Get some survey stuff for later. All right, we're leaving town. Stopped at a quickie mart. In case we actually were pretty sure we're gonna be sleeping in the mountains tonight or in the, the plains and uh, grab some supplies. Cervezas. Uh, yeah, we'll see you on the road. Brian bought the uh, the Ocho EPA pack. Next time on Baja Slow and Low, we enjoy our time in nowhere as we continue to work our way north. See you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Adventure is calling.